Boone was asked straight out, are you convinced that the Astros didn't use buzzers last year? And his one-word answer was no. He's still not convinced. So this, well, this, there's a lot of smoke there. I'm sorry. And then Gary Sanchez had the early lead for quote of the year. I don't know if you heard this, Peter. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it. He wasn't even asked about the Astros, but he said, I just want you all to know that if I hit a walk-off home run in the sixth game of the ALCS to get us to the World Series, I invite my teammates to rip my pants off. That's really good. That's a good line. He could have given to us at Mohegan Sun. I would have loved that. But he didn't. He saved it for spring training. But uh, then Bob Melvin spoke uh, at Oakland Athletics Camp, and he said, we always knew something was going on, and we complained to Major League Baseball. The more this is happening, and this is going to be the constant narrative down in spring training, the more this is happening, Don and Peter, the worse it makes Manfred look that the Astros are not punished. I know. I mean, I'm sorry. You gave them total immunity. It's like they, they, they killed six people and another person killed 100 people, and you gave the six people that killed six people, uh, the guy who killed six people, immunity because he turned in the guy who killed 100. I, I don't get the thought of just totally letting them get off scot-free. And Manfred works for the owners, right? Yeah. How, how do the owners feel right now about this? Because if the players and the managers are all unsure or convinced otherwise then how do the owners feel about this investigation? Are they upset that an investigation was done, their team lost, the Astros didn't get discipline really at all? If they're upset and the players are upset, I mean, Manfred could be in a lot of trouble here. Does he have anybody on his side outside of Tom Verducci? Like, who backs Manfred? Jim Crane. Well, because he only got fined five million dollars, right? And he, I, but, I think but, that he's totally complicit this in all is, this because of the culture. But here, he created. here's the problem: Manfred's going to have Michael. Is you've told me, and it makes sense that even before this, the Astros were one of the most hated teams in baseball because they're arrogant. Mm -hmm. They walked around like their, you know what, didn't stink. That they invented the game of baseball. I'm sure that aggravated a lot of owners, a lot of managers, a lot of players. Now they're involved in the biggest scandal in the history of the sport and basically got away scot free. So I'm sure a lot of the owners are like, Rob, what are we paying you for here? So did the investigation really not find anything? Or did he just not bother because he really didn't want to have the scandal really blow up? But I'm wondering if it's going to now be even worse because he's going to make enemies all over baseball and maybe forced to reinvestigate this thing and then find something. And then what does he do? Here's what's really going to have it blow up, Don. It's a story that won't go away. No, not and at all. Everybody that's spoken today around spring training... And even Aaron Boone said it's going to be interesting. They're going to run into situations. I think that's the word he used throughout the year. Teams are going to throw at them. They're going to be brawls. There might be a brawl every single series they play. Every single series. It, the, the Astros will not come into another town and not be booed vociferously. There's a chance that they're going to get knocked down. Nobody wants people to cheat against them. The players are angry. And I also blame the players, just like I blame the players for the, the PED situation. They should have stood up and they should have told their union, we want the cheaters taken care of because a lot of us aren't cheating. They should tell Tony Clark, the people that cheated should be punished because they cost us jobs, they cost us money. You're also representing the people that didn't cheat. And Tony Clark could be in trouble here, too, because... They, who votes him in? It's the players, players right? Yeah. Well, if you're, if you are backing the minority of players, the few that cheated, the rest of you could vote Tony Clark out. Tony Clark and Rob Manfred may be out of jobs because of this. That's why they should come together, have a sit down and say, listen, you're looking bad. I'm looking bad. Let's try to figure something out here. Now, the PEDs were more widespread. We found out that Conseco was actually telling the truth in his book. Is cheating that widespread that the commissioner felt like he had to protect them? Or if that's not the case, then what are you doing? What are you protecting the few and upsetting the many? 